Hi friends, I welcome you today again to another episode on the speech sound. We, we've, been, we've been on series of the classification of the speech sound. Today we are looking at the fricatives as part of the consonant sound classifications. Remember I told you that based on manner and places of articulation, we could categorically classify the consonant sound into different classifications. We mentioned the fricatives as part of the classification and today we are looking at the fricatives. Now for the fricatives, we need to understand these are the categories of the speech sounds under the consonants where we have a partial abstraction in the flow of air. Always remember that the consonant sounds normally, when we produce the consonant sounds, we must have to notice a kind of abstraction in the flow of air. And this abstraction, like I told you, can be total obstruction or partial obstruction. Now, for the fricatives, they are the groups of the consonant sounds where when we produce, we notice a kind of partial obstruction. But the point is this, in their groups, as we itemize them, they are categorically grouped into voiced and voiceless sound. And remember, I told you that the voice sounds are the aspects of the consonant sound which when we produce, we observe some degree of vibration in our vocal cord. That's the voice, the voice sound. But the voiceless are those sounds that when we produce, we notice a kind of little or no vibration at all in our vocal cord. Now, we see what we have on the board here. You notice that they've been symbolically represented. Now, if you look at all these things, they are the phonetic symbols of the fricatives in the English consonants. We look at the first one. We have it as sound. And this is. Now, if you observe the demonstration of the pronunciation of these two sounds, we notice that we have the same pattern of articulation, but the slight difference we have is that while this is voiceless, this one is voiced. Now, out there, if you are able to demonstrate this sound as you notice a kind of partial obstruction, that's number one. Number two, the fact that the sound is voiceless. Now, when I say partial obstruction, if you demonstrate it again, you see that the upper lip and the lower lip are almost coming together to block the, the flow, the free flow of air. But to some extent, that's why it is partial. But here, it is the same thing uh, actually, but the only difference is that this is observing a kind of voiceless sound why this is voiced if you demonstrate this you observe the vibration noticed in your vocal cord so this is and the next one is voiceless this is voiced the same pattern of articulation but voiceless and voiced now the third one is voiceless and this is voiced. That's the difference. The same pattern of articulation, but the difference is that this is voiceless and this is voiced. Then we have this as sound voiceless. Why this is the same pattern of articulation? The. So this is voiced. And the. Now, the next one is the last one, which is outrightly different, but it has been absorbed under the fricatives. It sounds... <sighs> All right, let's take them one after the other and then see how possibly we can represent them with words that have those sounds. The first one is as in fan. We have fan, if you look at this, that's the sound that is obtained. For fan, for Philip, can you see it? Philip, 
for calf. Always remember, I've told you in sounds, we are not majorly mindful of the spellings of words. The spellings of words are not so extremely important. What is important is the sounds or sounds that are obtained in those spellings. Now, if you look at this, you notice the entire difference, that's the complete obvious difference between this, this, and this. In their spellings, they are entirely different. But the point is that there is a uniform sound which all the words under this example they possess. We have it as f. There is the f sound here. And this is Philip. This is calf. The next one is the same pattern but the voice. So that we have vision. That's where we have the sound. Vision. And then we have cave and love. I take them again. Vision, cave, love. We have the next one which sounds so that we have words like keys. That's where we have the sound keys. And then we have last, last. And then we have list, list. The next one is that's the voiced. This is voiceless and this is voiced. So that we have days. Now watch out and see what we have here. We don't have a word or a letter like this in this spelling, but we have the sound. That's why I said let's be mindful of the sound. Here we have it as days. Days. All right, the next one is easy almost the same thing you can see easy easy so it has this sound Z. and the last one is zoo of course we have too many examples but we are just limiting for the benefit of what we have in mind we want to achieve all right the next one is this sound which sounds as shh, shh. so that we have shame this is Shame, that's where we have the sound. And the next one is wash. That's where we have the sound, wash. We have the next one, slash, sound, sh. And this is the voiceless sound. The next one is zh, zh, which is voiced. The same pattern of articulation. This is voiceless and this is voiced. So that we have words like vision, vision. That's where we have the sound. And the second example, we have it as measure. Measure. And we have the last one to be pleasure. Pleasure. So that this sound is zh sound. All right. The, last, the next one is this one that looks like mathematics theta. <laughs> so it is what? All right. So that we have words like think. Think. It is voiceless, of course. We have both and through. Think, both, through. Now we have this, almost the same pattern of articulation, but while this is voiceless, this is voice. Always remember I told you they are grouped. They must be grouped into voiced and voiceless fricatives in the consonant sound. All right, this is sound th. The first example, we have it as that, that. And the second example, we have it as father, father. And the last example that we have on the board, we have it as them, them. All right, finally, we have this. Blended together as part of the fricatives as well. This is what? House. It is pronounced, we have this first example as house and this is who and hawk now remember the spellings of words i repeat it's not so important we are mindful we are focused on the sounds that are produced in those spellings kindly hit the red button if you are in love with what we are doing it gives you notification each time we upload a new video thank you very much